Hello everyone. Today's topic is modeling of DC motor. So in that topic, today we are going to show you that how to simulate the DC machine in open loop as well as the closed loop. So very basic theory for the DC motor, open loop and closed loop system. Now if we want to control the any machine in closed loop system, so we should require a closed loop diagram. So let me show you the first diagram of the closed loop system. So here we have the one closed loop system diagram. So in that diagram we can clearly say that one controller is required with the plant series connection. And one sensor is also required to feed the data from the plant. So what is the necessity of the sensor? So it will sense the accurate actual data from the plant output and it will fed to the input reference signal. So that controller can understand that how much deficiency is created by the plant. Means output is following the reference signal or not. So that purpose is required sensor for the closed loop system. So what is the benefit of the open loop system? So it requires a less component. It do not require any extraordinary component and also very easy control system. And the advantage of the closed loop system is accurate and mostly following to reference signal. So there are lots of advantages are present in the closed loop system. So today we are showing the simulation of the DC machine. So for that I have referred the one PDF file, the book evaluation of the DC drives. So in the book have so much topics, but before we starting the simulation, we need to understand the closed loop diagram of the DC machine. So this is the closed loop diagram. Here we will apply the voltage is required by the motor, speed controller, converter, DC motor and the feedback. So converter it will provide the control power to the DC motors and speed controller is required to control the converter PWM pulses. Yes, it will control the speed indirectly of the DC machine through the feedback to the reference signal. Now, how to generate or how to create the closed loop block diagram? The mathematical transfer functions are shown in the book very clearly. You just follow this graph and procedure. So, using this equivalent circuit of separately accepted DC machine, you will be able to create this closed loop diagram. So, here you can see E or EAS. It means E a suffix a means armature voltage and this is the equations are easily available in books you can draw the block by this way so by using this block we are going to simulate this closed loop system now i have already made the one closed loop system based on the theory which is provided in the book so the same functions are available here. So now I have used this transfer function block and I have written the numerator, numerator coefficient as a 1 by B, denominator coefficient PM and 1. So this is the defined function which is derived by the equations. So this is the closed loop system and the waveforms, waveform options are available here. So 
to provide this data we need to create a one model file with the dot m file so this data i have written here we can zoom it so now you can see here so all the data ts it is a sampling time ra is armature registers la is armature inductance so the all values are provided into the script file so you can find out the all values i have taken the reference from the book and uh, provided the data usually available in the books and you can simulate the simulation by this way so i have calculated the kp kd and ki value particular for the my motor and my load applications so you will be also able to find out according to your application in your tor from the book now as we can see in matlab this data are written in the m file so it should be goes to the workspace so that we can take the data into the model file so go to the view publish editor and you can find out the button run you just click on that button so you will be find one error is coming okay we do not require this subflow so we can comment it out so now again you run so you see the old data are available in workspace so it is saved in excel file k5 kd kc ai and all the data are in workspace so it means we can use this data into our model file so now again go to the model file so we have written here ki kc kr kt k5 so that data will be taken from the workspace now what is in ea it is step time 0.5 i have set the final value 80 and uh, closed loop system i have set it the 0 0 150 into the kt now pi values and this is the pi values 4 to 1 10 100 I have used these values according to my the applications. So, the first thing is that in open loop, when we change the torque of the loop machine, so speed is ultimately going to change. So, that should not be happening to the closed loop system. In anyhow, we can change the torque, so speed should be a very constant term. And the controller has to maintain the current which is required by the motor. So, so way the output speed should not be changed its value so this is the most advantage of the closed loop system so now we are just simulate these values it will take some time we are running the both simulation in one file so just about to show the values okay the graph are available now see here this is the armature current and this is the speed so we can say the starting of the armature current it is nearly about the 70 ampere more than 60 ampere and here we can see the blue graph blue line at the point of 3 we can see the torque is changed because i have applied the value 3 0 and 6 so the speed is affected due to the torque changing in the motor 
so in secondary side in closed loop system you can see here the armature current is limited by the saturation block which is we have provided into the block diagram so you can say that we can limit the our starting of the current we can compare the both current it is reaches to the 70 of amperes and here it is nearly about the 40 amperes so we can save the energy which is required to the dc machine starting and the most important thing is that in speed in closed loop system here we can compare here at the point of 3 even the load is changes value from lower to the higher speed is big, nearly zero or are nearly constant it means zero affected from the torque here we can also see in open loop system it is affected and here it is not affected so now if we change the value of torque here suppose i will apply the value of 5 sorry 3 and again we will simulate here we also put the 3 now simulate the data so here you see the speed is changes very small portion because the torque amount which is 0 to 3 very closely amount so speed is also not affected and it is a purely constant rpm rps sorry so the speed is maintained constant even in torque changes Thank you.